what is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the redmi note 5 pro today and this is 2019 already and i'm gonna be showing you how to install the samsung's wing os on the redmi note 5 pro and this is a port by guzram and i am literally thankful to the developer and he developed an amazing rom and he did like port some other roms too like oxygen os and stuff so this is one amazing of a rom and i have to say that this is running super fine already and let me show you today how is it how is everything holding up and by the way if you're flashing this rom or if you want to flash this rom on your redmi note 5 pro the instructions are gonna be that you just need to boot into your twrp recovery i'm assuming you have to twrp recovery already and if you are not you have to unlock the bootloader and install the latest official twrp recovery which is the 3.2.3 slash 2 and on that recovery just go to wipe then wipe cache dalvik system data and vendor then just go to install flash the rom file then you have to flash the gapps file and for this rom the pico gapps is recommended and this is based on 8.1 so you have to flash arm64 8.1 pico gapps so that's all you have to do and just reboot the phone you will get into the system and you have to set up the phone and stuff and in this setup let me tell you that I, even i was like a little bit worried because i saw the keyboard was kind of a chinese keyboard of samsung so that's how it is and you have to just like enter the password and stuff if you are connecting to your wi-fi so that's all you have to do for the method and right after you get past the setup and stuff just like make sure you are like using google keyboard or you have the gboard apk in your internal storage or a sd card so just install the gboard from there and from that point you're good to go so right now let me show you how is the rom how is everything holding up So this is the ROM itself and to the left side we have the Google Now cards kind of thing from where you can get the frequent apps, your favorite contacts, quick pay and smart manager and stuff of Samsung and on the bottom you can see we have the Samsung like navigation panel and you can just hide it in a app and let me show you the quick settings panel and over here as you can see we have the quick toggles and you can swipe to the right to get these like more quick toggles and we have the mobile hotspot do not disturb and stuff and over here if you like turn up the brightness and stuff this is just does this kind of animations as you can see so it looks pretty cool and over here everything works the torch and stuff does work and bluetooth and stuff does work too i did test it and over here you have the wi-fi vibrate etc stuff and you can put the phone into vibrant and stuff from here and this is the volume panel as you can see we have the ringtone media notification volume and system volume over here in the volume panel and let me just like show you the settings quickly and let's go into settings over here and as you can see the animations does look like samsung devices and in the about section let me show you here it says redmi note 5 and you can edit the name if you want to and over here it says smg2000 and we have some more information in software information and this is based on android 8.1 oreo as you can see let's go back and here is the build number and security patch as of october 1st 2018 let's go back and over here we have more stuff we have the software updater and stuff but this is a ported rom so software updater not gonna work and we have some general settings from where you will get the battery storage and memory like settings over here as you can see it does detect as 4gb of ram let's go back and i did install google keyboard by the way guys here as you can see so i'm not using the chinese keyboard and inside lock screen and stuff we have like more customizations kind of thing and over here you do get the face recognition and stuff but I'll test it later on. I have not tested the face unlock as of now. And the fingerprint scanner is working super fine. I'll show you the speed test of fingerprint scanner. And here you will have the clock and face widget. And let me show you the clock styles. So here as you can see it shows the lock screen clock. So you can change the lock screen clock however you want. So as you can see we have like a lot of like options over here. Looks pretty cool. And you can set whatever you want. So as you can see. Let me just set it to this one or this one. So let's do it with this one maybe and click on apply. 
So as you can see in the lock screen it shows like this and you have the phone app over to the left and you have the camera over to the right. So you can just double tap it I guess or you can just swipe like this and touch the fingerprint scanner so it asks for the camera. Well now let me show you the camera quickly. Well this is the Samsung camera present over here and even the front camera and stuff does work as you can see it is working so let me click a picture. So I did click a picture as you can see and let me check the quality of it not so good kind of a low risk picture so the camera is a little bit buggy so if you take any picture this is gonna come out like low resolution picture as you can see from here so that's how it is regarding the camera but the camera is there and the option is there i mean the camera does work with this rom and over here one good thing is you get the camera to api by default you don't have to enable anything so that is why i installed the google camera and let me show you by just opening it so as you can see google camera is here and it is working super fine let me just click a selfie quickly so as you can see i did click a picture and google camera does work super fine over here in this rom so you don't need to worry at all regarding google camera and let me show you the like the recent panel over here so as you can see we have the cards of android audio and you can switch the views as you can see from here you can just tap on list view so that it shows like this or you can just go to the thumbnail view and you can just swipe right like any app to remove it and you can clear them all from here so let me open some of the apps and show you guys the app open of speeds and the animations well as you can see the animations looks dope and the app opening up speeds is amazing so as you can see the animation looks pretty dope in my opinion and we do get the app lock and stuff and that is just works fine as you can see all apps are in memory and the app open up animations looks pretty awesome in my opinion what do you guys think let me know in the comments down below this is one great rom i have to say this is a ported rom and it is working super fine and even vaulty works i'll show you the in call ui so as you can see the all the apps are in memory so you don't need to worry at all and the rom is pretty fast and buttery smooth you don't need to worry at all regarding the rom i mean the performance of this rom and let me place a call and show you guys the in call ui so this is how the dialer looks like as you can see we have the video calling option too but i don't know if it works or not let me place a call and you can just call like this i guess yeah so you can just place a call just like this so as you can see it works the geo 4g like vaulty calling works and you have the recording call option muting option video call option bluetooth option is there for some reason and you have the timer over to the left like top and you have like you get more options of adding calls and stuff from here you can place like in the call from here now let me show you the fingerprint scanner speed quickly so i just lock the phone let me place the finger and as you can see it unlocks just look at the speed so as you can see the fingerprint scanner speed is pretty fast and over here let me show you some more things let me just turn down the brightness a little bit and let me show you some more things and this is the clock widget or weather widget we get by default and the animations over here looks pretty sick and it is like running super fine and you can change the themes and stuff over here and this is the like stock launcher of like samsung ui and if you tap and hold you will get the wallpaper themes and other options so here you will get a lot of like wallpaper options of samsung i guess and let me just go into the like themes and here we'll get these three themes even like still over here it says chinese kind of names and even if you tap here it shows this kind of chinese messages so that's how it is we can't help as of now so everything is chinese like in this weather app i could not find any settings for the language over here in these apps and what else so here we'll get the home screen settings and stuff you can like customize the grid 
you can just change it to 4x5, 5x5, 4x6, whatever you want. And you have the app icon badges. Quick open notification panel is there so that you can just swipe down on the home screen to get the like the quick settings panel. And you can swipe up to get the like the apps. I mean the recent apps or suggested apps from here. You can search any kind of app from here. So as you can see, it shows up. And let me show you the face unlock quickly and let's see if it works or not. So here we get the face recognition stuff. Let me enter the pin. All right. Just leave these options enabled. So let me just try it now. So as you can see, it unlocks. And the animation looks dope. Oh, it's pretty fast. It does not even feel like a portrait drum. All right. So I'm excited. This looks pretty good. And over here for the GeoSim, it shows HD and stuff like for Vaulty. And it has the 4G like kind of thing, a pretty small 4G icon over there. And Wi-Fi icon and the battery icon is over there. And let me just like show you the Samsung apps are present over here. We have the voice recorder, my files, calculator and stuff of Samsung over here. And you have the clock and stuff. And by the way, you get to change the folder colors from here. You can just tap over here. You can change the colors of the folder so that it will show up just like that colored over there. And you have the Samsung's browser and stuff, Samsung video, Samsung assistant, Galaxy apps, contacts, smart switch and some more kind of thing and i did uninstall some of the apps i guess and we have the samsung health and stuff if you need those things let's just go back and over here you get the calendar but this calendar still like <laughs> looks like in chinese like over here as you can see some of the fonts are in chinese so that's how it is and over here let me just go into the settings quickly and show you some more stuff here you will get the display settings and here you will have the auto brightness or adaptive brightness option you can just turn them off if you want to let me just reduce the brightness more so here as you can see you have these kind of options and blue light filter is there if you turn it on the screen is gonna go like totally yellow so that's how it is and font and screen zoom option is there so that you can change the like the fonts you can change it to like this kaiti and some miaro I don't know how to spell it so <laughs> that's how it is you can like change the font size and screen size and over here you have one easy mode I haven't tested it and LED indicator is there status bar option is there so that you get the network speed and the battery percentage over to the status bar and you can like double tap on this like dot to like hide the navigation bar as you can see right now the navigation bar is hidden and you can just swipe up and double tap over there again to get like fix it over there so that's how it is and we have the navigation bar option you can change the colors of the navigation bar pretty cool thing over here and you can just swap the like the back button to the left side let me just do it as you can see right now the back button is on the left side home in the middle and we have the recents on the right so you can like set it however you want it and what else we have the screen timeout option up to 10 minutes and block accidental touches is over there but i disabled it for some reason because it's like did not search on the keyboard if I tap over here so that's why I disabled it and let me just go back here we have the sound settings here we get the vibrate and stuff option we have the vibration feedback option and some other stuff like the haptic feedback options so I just did enable it and in the notifications you get the like in-app notification options and you can turn each of them on and off if you want to so that's how it is and you can go advanced too if you want that so here you will get the advanced feature option let me just go inside it here you will get all the things like smart stay and stuff but this doesn't work really and app lock is there and you have to like put the fingerprint and to like lock something and to get into the settings and here you can enable like whatever apps you want let me just lock the calculator i just did and if i open the calculator right now as you can see it just asks for the like use fingerprint or enter pin so i'll just like put my fingerprint and as you can see i am in the calculator app so the app lock or app unlock does work super fine you don't need to worry at all regarding this stuff 
so let's go into like this over here and we have the game mode and stuff and call message spam filter is there if you want to use that one handed gesture is there but i don't know how to use this of your phone with just one hand i don't know how to use it so gesture all right so this is how you use it as you can see you can just tap on the blank area to like get into the full screen and you can just like do this i guess so as you can see right now i'm in the one handed mode and this looks pretty cool so let's go back and fingerprint sensor gesture is there and if you tap like turn it on it just goes back kind of or it just goes in with the like with touching the fingerprint scanner in one ui and quick launch camera is there so that you can double tap the power button to get the camera and some more stuff is there smart capture is there and you can like take a screenshot from right here so as you can see it just took a screenshot and you can edit it later so what else we have the recording screen option from here so that you can record the screen of course and smart alert and stuff is there swipe to like call or send messages there of samsung so this rom is pretty great i have to say this is one amazing of a port and the port is working super fine and by the way the google pay is not working really i did try to set up like google pay but it did not work normally but i did not try it like disabling the phone and sms app permission of the play services because i feel kind of risky if i see chinese fonts in the ui like to set up my bank account over there so that's how it is so i won't quite recommend you guys but if you want to like set up your google pay and stuff forcefully if you can do that you, like you don't need to worry and the clock and stuff is there of samsung so that is pretty much it for this video let me know in the comments what do you guys think about this rom i'll link it in the description box below so do not worry give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel if you have not yet this is tito from kerry and tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now